guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you my lipstick that I picked up from MAC. This was not a part of my last haul. This came, I ordered this about a week ago. It came just the other day. So I said I wanted to do a separate video just to show you the lipstick. The lipstick I picked up, it's, it's a matte lipstick. This is part of their retro matte. This color is called Flat Out Fabulous. Let me just put this on my hand so you can see it. I absolutely love, love, love this color. I'm wearing it, of course. And I also lined my lips a little bit with a Milani lip liner. I'll show you that in the video. And I'm gonna talk you through how I create a lip. I get compliments on my lip my lipstick look at work with the slightly darker liner around the lipstick but anyway so yeah so this is the retro matte by MAC this color is called flat out fabulous let me show you which pencil I use this is the I was gonna swatch it this is the Milani lip liner this color is called sugar plum and if you guys have been following me for years <laughs> you know I use this lip color this lip liner sugar plum a lot and so I'm going to pretty much blend that color into this color to get this look okay as always I'm going to start with the bliss decks this is lip medics and you can pick this up from your beauty supply store I got this one from the drugstore CVS drugstore it's just a mentholated balm and I usually just apply this on my lips maybe about 10 minutes before I know I'm going to put on my lipstick what I usually do is let it sit for about a few minutes, 10 minutes, and then I'll just blot off any excess. So I'm going to be applying my lip liner. This is the Milani lip liner. The color is Sugar Plum. And I feel it's like a great lip liner for the, the lipstick. And I like to blot a little bit, press my upper lip against the bottom lip just to start the blending process. And I'm gonna leave this open just right here at the center bottom. I'm gonna leave that open just a little bit. And I find that this side of my lip is a little bit shorter or smaller than this side. So I always compensate by making the line just outside the lip, natural lip line, just a little bit. Now with the Sigma Performing, this is the Sigma Performance. This is a tight line brush. This is the E14, I think, E16. I use this to blend out my lip liner. But you could use it for tight lining also. And I'm just sort of working the color towards the inner part of the lip. And I still want to kind of leave this not as um, intense looking. Leaving this a little open is going to make my bottom lip just appear to be a little bit fuller. This is a matte lipstick and if you like matte lipsticks like I do but you find that they may be a little drying you just may want to use a lip balm like the one I used earlier So I'm going to go back in with the tight lining brush and just blend that darker liner 
Just blend it out a little bit. You know, I, I really love this color. It goes on so smooth. The formulation is just really, really smooth. Uh, the, the color is really nice. It's a nice complement for my skin tone. And I think this color really works well with a wide range of coloring. I've seen some women very fair, Caucasian, women darker than me. I mean, each one, the color looks beautiful. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's what it looks like. I wore this yesterday for... Um, Ladies Day at my fr my best friend in the world, Jackie. She has her channel on here called Just Jackie. She had Ladies Day at her church and it was really, really wonderful experience. But this is the lipstick that I wore and um, yeah, I was really happy with the look. I, you know, this, this was a part of my haul I wanted to show you all last week, but this was sold out on the MAC website for a while. It would come in and then it would go back out. And now I finally got it. I think this came out uh, last fall, fall of 2013. And I was trying to get it then and I couldn't. It seemed like every time I went back to the website, it just wasn't there. But anyway, I'm glad it came. I really love the color. Definitely going to take this color into the spring. Even though it came out in the fall, I'm just not going to use it as a fall color. It's really beautiful. I'm trying to get it in the light so that you can see it. You can see the color up close. Look at that. It is so pretty. It goes on smooth. It doesn't dry my lips out at all. I really don't think I need the lip balm, but you know, I didn't have it. I just put lip balm on anyway. But I, it's not drying at all. Yeah, and it feels so smooth. So thanks so much for joining me. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Take care now, guys. Bye-bye.